Will Leicester City brush the Blues aside, or will Chelsea secure their first Premier League victory over the Foxes since September 2017? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Welcome to another video. This is my preview for the match that will be taking place tomorrow evening at the King Power Stadium in the Premier League between Leicester City and Chelsea with kickoff at 8.15pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly, I will be giving you guys the team news concern in both sides and as always with these previews, I'll be kicking things off with the team news concern in the home side and in the case of tomorrow's match, the home side will be Leicester City. I will then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. I will also be giving you guys my four things that I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening. And lastly, I will be giving you guys my score prediction. So without further ado, let's get straight into this preview. So kicking things off. With the Leicester City team news, there are two stories concerning the Leicester City first team, and the first one concerns Dennis Pratt and Hagler Soyuncu. And this story explains that Dennis Pratt will miss tomorrow's visit of Chelsea while um, Hagler Soyuncu could start for the first time since the 3rd of December. Um, so that's a bit of a mixed bag for Leicester City, but um, yeah, that's the first story concerning the Leicester City first team. For you guys, the second and final story concerning the Leicester City first team concerns Jamie Vardy, and this story explains that Jamie Vardy's a bit. Uh, sorry, this story explains that Jamie Vardy's a. Oh my God! This story explains that Jamie Vardy's availability is uncertain due to a hip injury that he picked up against Southampton in Leicester City's last game, which they of course won by two goals to nil. Um, got there in the end. But yes, that is it for the Leicester City team news. Now moving straight on to the Chelsea team news. There's only one story concerning the Chelsea first team and it concerns Andres Christensen and N'Golo Kante. And this story explains that Andres Christensen is back in contention for a place in the team after recovering from a knee injury that he picked up against Aston Villa um, back in the end of December or um, at the end of December, shall I say. And... N'Golo Kante is ruled out by a hamstring problem. Um, he isn't suspended anymore, but he will miss tomorrow's game against Leicester City. So um, that's a big blow for us, if you ask me. But um, it is good that Andreas Christensen is in contention for a place in the team tomorrow evening. Um, we're, go we're, gonna, we're probably going to need his presence anyway. But yes, that is it for the team news concern in both sides. Some good news for both sides, some bad news for both sides, I have to say. It's a bit of a mix... Sorry, it's a bit of a mixed bag for both teams, but yes, that is it for the team news concerning both Leicester City and Chelsea. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. I have chosen to go with a 4 3 3 because I don't see Frank Lampard picking any other formation just now. But in terms of the personnel I have chosen, I have gone with Edouard Mendy in goal. I've gone with a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Kurt Zuma, Thiago Silva and Ben Chilwell. I have gone with a midfield three of Jorginho, Mason Mount and Kai Havertz. And I have decided to go with a front three from right to left of Hakim Ziyech, Tammy Abraham and Callum hudson -Odoi. So that is the lineup that I've gone with. Please guys, do put your lineups in the comment section below, I'd love to hear them. And as always, I will do my very best to respond, but here is a graphic showing you guys the formation that I've chosen and the personnel that I've chosen for my lineup. Bye. Now for my four things that I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening. The first thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening is that we must stop the ball from getting to their attacking players. Um, against Fulham on Saturday, we did allow them to have um, time on the ball. We did allow their attacking players to get the ball in dangerous areas. And we definitely got away with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Fulham did have some good chances in that game. 
But like I've just said, we got away with it. But against this Leicester team, it's unlikely that we're going to get away with it because these lot are very clinical and they don't they don't pass up many opportunities. So we have to not allow their um, attacking players to get the ball, and we certainly have to not allow them to get the ball in um, in um, dangerous areas where they have lots of space. But that is the first thing that I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening. The second thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening is that we must remain solid at the back and press as a unit. Um, against Fulham, I have to say that um, we did look as though we were pressing, but not not all of our players were pressing and pushing up to um, help maintain the press, if that makes any sort of sense. And that, of course, meant that there were gaps um, for Fulham to exploit. And the best example I can give you of this is that Ivan Caviero chance where... Um, there was a massive, massive gap in front of our defensive line, and it just got it just got exploited brilliantly by their wing backs. Um, so yeah, we have to remain solid at the back and press as a unit because if we don't, um, then Leicester City will exploit that. They have the players to do so, and that is sort of that is an elaboration on the first point in which I've made. But yes, that is the second thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening. The third thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening is that we must, 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 must hit them on the counter-attack when possible. There are going to be periods in the game where we are going to be doing a lot of defending. I can almost, um, I can almost certainly say so because Leicester City are a very good attacking team and they can put teams under a lot of pressure and can put teams on the back foot if you like. But yes, we are going to need to try and hit them on the counter-attack. Um, when possible, sorry, when possible, because if we don't, then um, we could end up crumbling under the pressure that Leicester City will put us under and concede some goals, which is, of course, what we don't need right now. But yes, that is the third thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City Trump tomorrow evening. Sorry for stuttering, guys. And I hope that made sense. The fourth and final thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening is that we must draw fouls. Um, the main reason as to why I believe we need to do this is because if we draw fouls, then their players are more likely to get booked, and if they get, if they get booked, then they'll have to um, they'll have to judge their their um, sorry they'll have to judge their tackles to a T, and that could affect the that could affect their game. But yes, um, that's the main reason as to why I believe that we need to draw fouls. Um, yeah, those are the four things that I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Leicester City tomorrow evening. Guys, please do put your four things in the comment section below. And as always, I will do my very best to respond. But yes, um, those are my four things. Now, to conclude this preview, I am going to give you guys my score prediction. I have gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win because I do believe that we can beat this Leicester City team. However, it is by no means going to be an easy game. Leicester City are a fantastic team, make no mistake about it. They have some fantastic players in their team and Brendan Rodgers has done wonders with them and they are definitely title contenders if you ask me. But yes, we have to be on it from the get-go tomorrow evening if we want to get anything from the game. I was contemplating going with a 1-1 draw because I'm not going to lie to you guys, there is little to separate the two teams in terms of quality just now. But yes, I have gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win. Guys, please do put your score predictions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. And as always, I'll do my very best to respond. That is it for this preview. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. And peace.